one. Old school only is go. <laughs> Yep, we're back in the shed. Haven't been in here. I don't know, what was the last thing I was building in here? The drag car. There's actually still filings on the ground from that. It's been ages. It's been storage. And um, it's time to do some projects. So we'll be in here for a while while we're doing this thing. Tucked way over in the corner there, that blue thing is a motorcycle hoist. I really should be using it, but it's a pain in the butt to get out right now i'm still at a dilemma of what color to paint the tank everything else is going to be black and chrome guards frame um the tank i don't want black and i mean it looks great in the photos but let me show you it's rough as guts it's old it's chipping away it's really thick old enamel i think she's all coming apart so she needs to come back. I was going to do it in a, well I was thinking of doing it in a drab, but I don't know, I don't know. Maybe a silver or a gun metal or something like that. Biggest problem in the shed is the lighting. The sun comes down over there in the afternoons and wrecks the lighting, but it is what it is right now. Nothing I can do about it. But what I want to do next is start getting it ready. I want to pull the front end out of it, stick the girder in it, see what I've got to do for that. It should just go straight in. I'm not sure about the bearings, what they've got in there, how they've adapted this Honda front. Hopefully it's all original so I can just reuse the bearings because they're just individual ball bearings in the steering head originally. Hopefully that's still the same. And once we've got the forks in, I can stick the bars on it, the new handlebars, and then work out what we're doing with this front wheel. I've got a couple of ideas how to make it work, but one of the things I have to do to make this wheel work is get these brakes working properly. They work, but they're not really good at all. And once we've got the forks changed over, the front end sorted out, we can rip the rear end out of it, clean up the rim, change that tire, and get rid of that rear guard, work out what I'm doing there. I do have an original guard coming. I do like that look. We're not, I'm not making a bobber. I'm not making a chopper. I'm making a custom BSA M20 to my taste. Old school bike, like Doris, just old school cool. So without further ado, let's get into this beast. So let me let you in on a little trick. I need to get the front end in the air so I can take forks out. And I could muck around, sticking a jack under it, tying the rear end down, sticking something underneath it, trying to lift the bike up. This is how you use your brain. No effort. You're welcome. But if your stick falls out, you're in a world of pain. My disclaimer's at the start of the video. bearings all over the floor.
seriously, how much better do those forks look? So much better. Look at that. We need to get that outside, hang on. Will you take a look at that? How awesome does that look? That has changed the whole look of the bike. Man, why would you take them off? So cool. So cool. Man, I'm chuffed. She sits lower too. Sits really nice. The stand actually works properly. Yeah, that's really good. I am so happy. That rear guard still hurts my face. The new one's on its way. I'm pretty happy with that progress today. That's it from me. Stay tuned, be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you on the next one. Cheers. That looks so good. What do you reckon? What do you reckon, mate? What do you reckon? Look good? Huh?